Hey Armin here and in this video we're going to talk about how long can you sustain where you are. So if you're not happy with where you are, which a lot of people aren't typically satisfied with, then what are you doing to improve it? And is it working? Uh, and is it, is it a sustainable strategy? Or are you like most people, you really don't have a strategy but you go to the doctor when things flare up and maybe get a prescription and you're going with what the medical community recommends, which is prescriptions and not really getting to the root cause of situations that you may be dealing with. So if, if you're looking at this, you need to understand, well, if I keep doing what I'm doing, how long will that last? It's a, it's a tough question. I have to ask the question as well to myself and other people I care about, but it's a real question. So with it, you know, first question is, how is your health? Are you on prescriptions? And do you, do you even know how your health is? Do you care? I mean, if you're here, you probably care, but maybe you're confused like most people are about what can be done because you're just kind of following the medical community. You go in and see the doctor and... You know, if they can't write a script, it's like, well, you need to eat better, you need to get more sleep, you need to not stress, and take care of yourself. Well, that doesn't give you a lot of um, anything to hold on to and, and anything to, to work towards, in my opinion. So, if you have health problems, what I strongly suggest, which, which we work with our clients on, let's find out what the root of the problem is. Because that's how you're going to fix and solve it. And so... When you're looking at this, prescriptions are a temporary fix, but it's not solving the problem. So we could solve the problem. Well, let's use blood pressure, for example. If you have high blood pressure, are we doing everything we can to solve the root of the problem? Now, don't get me wrong. There could be exceptions, genetic or whatever, that can happen. But most of the time, it's typically nutrition-based, not enough sleep, stressed out. Your lifestyle is out of alignment with what you want to accomplish and you probably don't know how to adjust it or how to fix it without creating more havoc because you you need to eat a certain way but then the family doesn't want to eat that way or whatever comes to your mind which that's normal but if you got health problems the best thing to do is figure out what is the root cause of it and that's what we help people do is find out what the root cause is and see if we can get that thing fixed because then there's no need for prescriptions and one of the ways to help do this, most of all, is to slow down the aging process. If you slow down aging or even reverse, which can be done as well, depending on your situation, reverse the aging some, now you slow down disease. And so that's a totally different concept of reality. And it's, it's, it's doable. And so you, you got to understand that if you slow down disease by doing certain lifestyle factors that can help you accomplish that, which is what we do with the Lee exact method, now you got more control you're taking back control of your health and you're taking responsibility of your health because you got a plan that allows you to do that with professionals that can guide you that are, that are dealing with it every day in the trenches so this is what you got to kind of think about now <clears throat> on top of your health the next thing is you know how do you feel how do you feel about how you look are you happy with what's in the mirror I know a lot of people are not happy with what's in the mirror, and it can be changed, but they don't know how. They don't even know how to go about it. They're just wondering, well, what if I did this? What if I did that? Or maybe the guy with the trainer, maybe the trainer's helped them some, but they're still not happy with, with the progress. Because uh, trainers, you know, personal training can help you some if you get the right one, but they're not encompassing all the factors. You know, training is one factor, but then you got nutrition is another factor. Then you got your hormones, which is another factor. You got sleep requirements is another factor with recovery. So there's a lot to go here. Just doing one thing, maybe it's a trainer, maybe it's a nutrition plan, you know, something like that. That is not going to solve your long-term problem or make you get to where you'd like to go. So that's what we want to talk about here is understanding that there's a lot of what we call pillars that need to be aligned to help you achieve your long-term goals and to take back control. So if you're not help with, happy with how you, how you look, 
then that typically means we got some body fat we don't want to have, which can be eliminated with the proper nutrition and the, the supplementation strategy. You need to do some resistance training to put some muscle back on to regain some muscle tissue, which you need anyways for longevity and help reverse what's, what damage has been done because it can help. And it also helps to get your hormone levels back in line. And then you just, you know, to work on the sleep part of it so that you get the recovery so that all the rebuilding process happens to make, to make things work. So it is very doable, but if you don't know how because you're incompetent and it's not, it's not, a, not meant as a uh, to insult, it's, an, it's meant a, as part of reality. And I'm incompetent in a lot of things I don't know nothing about, and it is what it is. I have to accept it, and then I got to figure out well, what am I going to do. It's the same situation uh, for yourself. So if you don't know how to improve how you look, we can help you with that. We can help you with a lot. So, and keep it simple, efficient, and all you do is focus on getting what needs to be done and keep going with what you're doing. Now, you've got a great business and you're, you're making a lot of money and you want to spend more time with your family and you want to be there, you want to be real mobile later on, longer term, live longer, use up all these great resources you have. This can happen. It can be a reality. There's a lot of new science coming down the pipe these days about how to improve aging, about how to take back control of your health, and live longer. All right, so that being said, how long you want to live? That's a tough question. You need to give that some thought. I know I had to. I mean, I don't know. I want to live as long as I can. Okay, well, I want to make as much money as I can. Well, How's all that work? You got to put a target to it. You got to start somewhere. So maybe you want to make your target. I want to live to 100 and I want to be mobile. I want to be able to do things to 100. Or maybe it's you want to go, maybe you want to shoot for the stars, go 150. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, nothing's perfect. You got to, but you have to have a starting point. So think about, well, what would be ideal for you? What if you could be really getting, have great energy, good muscle tone, great sex drive, in your 70s, your 80s, your 90s. What if that could happen? Would that, would that allow you to do a lot more in life, help more people, be there for family, see more family, you know, grandchildren, etc. happen? Give that some thought because you need to pick a number and work towards it because that's what it is. It has to be a goal set, but then it will make it happen. So, and again, it won't be simple. But at least you're putting your energy and time into an area that you want to, that you believe in. And that's important. <clears throat> okay, so next question would be, well, what is your integrated health and physique strategy? Do you have one? 99.9% .9 of the people I know of don't have one. You know, I have one. And I have one I've had to learn how to put together myself. But now it works, and so now I have it. Now, if you don't have one, well, we can put one together for you that will make sense for your schedule, that will make sense for where you are currently, that will make sense as you adapt and improve. So keep it moving in a progressive manner, not just stand still and that's it. You know, one that you can also share with other people you care about because they're going to ask you questions when you get results. They're going to say, what are you doing? How does all this work? Because that's what's going to happen. As soon as you make these changes and they see it physically, and your better energy, your your attitudes are good, you you feel really good about yourself, that's a game changer. So if you don't have an integrated health and physique strategy, we can help you. Now to do that, we need to do a deep dive into what you know, what you've done in the past, what your experience is, where you are today, and then where you want to go and then start working the program together to start getting it put into place, adjust, adapt, have the right protocols, and adjust the protocols as you progress. That's what we do here. And we're, you know, you know it's, it's something that's taken years of war, hard work and experience, but it can be done. And again, by having the data, then we can start putting that data into what we, need, what we know we need, need and then customize it for you. And it's not going to be smooth. There's always bumps in the road, but that, that's like business. Business isn't smooth. There's bumps in the road. There's all kinds of setbacks and, and, and issues. But we can make it a lot easier for you so you don't have to spend all the time, the energy, the resources, and money to figure it out 
on your own. And I, I can tell you right now, that's a long process, just from personal experience. And I'm 60, so that's where I'm coming from on it. All right. So another thing that comes up is what is getting in the way of you achieving your health and physique goals? Is it you? Your own, you know, sometimes your own self can be an issue because you don't have the confidence. You don't feel like you can do it. You don't feel like it's even possible. That's real, that's pretty common. I run into that a lot. People just don't, they don't think they can make those changes. It's just, it's just totally out of their realm. But it's like saying, well, I'm running a business. Um, I, I don't think I could do this anymore in my business or I don't think we can achieve this with our business. Most people that make, to do well financially, they're thinking way ahead of that. So if, if you don't have, if you're not, if you don't understand what's getting in the way, then we can help you understand that better as well. Generally, it's you're hanging around the wrong people or the influences that you have, they're not leading a good lifestyle either. And you just want to try to accommodate, but that's not going to help you. You need to be your own advocate on what you want to get done and Put yourself around people that want to agree with what you want to get done so that you can actually enjoy the process and enjoy the benefits of it. Some people, like you know, in business, they don't want to see you make it. They're like, you know, people like crabs in a bucket. If somebody starts getting out, the crab will pull it right back in. They don't want to see you get out. They don't want to see you make it. That's tough. It's the same thing with if you had great health and a great physique, people are going to get jealous. So what? It's you. It's, it's, what, it's what you want to have happen. And that can be done. So, again, if you, you need to find out what's getting in the way of what's, what, what can make you successful. Either you, a family, people you're hanging around with, that kind of stuff. Figure that out. And we can help you with that if, you, if you're not sure. Because things need to be in alignment with what you want to accomplish and a lot of times people are going to get in the way of that, which is, which is normal, it's common. You just have to make adjustments. Either you don't spend as much time with them, or you may, may just eliminate them. It just depends. But you can make it work. Okay, but it's, it's for you. If you die, what do you think they're going to do? Oh, so that's really a shame. You know, no skin off their back. So, but if you want to live a prosperous, long life, Maybe they're going to get jealous about it. Well, if they're getting jealous, maybe it's not the friends you want to have. And again, I'm just making uh, open opinions on things, but it's really for you to decide. All right, then finally, would you like a customized plan to help you at your goals? And if you would like one, then we can do that for you. We can simplify it, help take all the complexity out of it, get you to be competent to know exactly what to do, to take back control of your health, manage the things the way you want, and know what resources you need to do that, and keep doing that, and then adjust as things come up. You know, nothing's perfect. You got you're always gonna have things that are gonna pop up. But if you're moving in the right direction, you're gonna start to get the percentages in your favor. And the more you can do that, the better for you, right? So if you'd like to get a customized plan then you can take take the time and comment and learn more about pop your questions in there about well, what's involved and we can comment on it uh, but this is kind of a a tough question tough love kind of video because i just see so many people that could do so much better based on what i know and what i've seen with the clients i've worked with so give that some thought and go if you have questions then pop that too but um Hope I didn't offend anybody on this one, but at the same time, I just want to drive that point home because I just see, again, way too many people that could have so much more to live for and, and be ready for it if they made some lifestyle changes and understood what was needed. All right. Other than that, just make some comments if you need to, and we'll talk to you again real soon. Take care.